Good morning, Gina. We're going to meet um, in child's pose whenever you're ready. No equipment needed this morning. And we're going in about one minute. morning Sophie welcome to a nice relaxed stretch this morning good morning good morning your brother-in-law is secretly in the class hidden he says hello from over there hi Chris hi Sophie he says hello all right let's meet in child's pose it's time to go Feet together flat, knees wide. Hands out in front. See if you can stretch out your side waist, get even longer from armpit to hip. Balloon out that lower back, as much breath as you can send through the sacrum area. And maybe set an intention today, think of a word that you could take through your day. And slowly peel your way up to all fours hands come in knees come in and drop the heart towards the hands look forward push the floor away sits bones to the sky exhale round look at your knees And back and forth at your own breath, in your own pace. You've got 30 seconds on your own. Let's try to make as much space as possible through the vertebrae. And really dome up the upper back. Beautiful. Three more cycles. Beautiful. Make your way back to all fours. Sit back, go on to one side, bring your legs forward. We're going to lay down, do figure four, stretch right leg. Just lay down, crush leg, shift away, relax. And then when you're ready, maybe lift the leg and give me a nice little thread the needle, wrap it around. to relax your head neck and shoulders and push that knee away from your right shoulder and then straighten your leg that's crossing and stretch out your left leg and your head neck and shoulders are up and we're doing a sneaky little core exercise make sure the leg is off the floor you're holding on to the back of your leg up to the sky and just release your hands forward and stay for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
seven, belly to back, back to mat for five, four, three, two, and one, hug it in. Rock on your backs a little bit. And figure four, stretch, other side. Cross it over. Try to push the knee gently away from your body and then wrap around, find your hamstring. Head, neck and shoulders relax. Well, the left foot is flexed to activate your calf. Beautiful. Keep behind your hamstring, stretch your leg up to the sky, reach the left leg, stretch the right leg and hold. You can walk up your leg and lift your shoulders. Belly to back, back to mat. Release your leg if you can. Hold for eight, seven. Last three, two, and hug it in. And rock on your backs a little bit. Your knees in nice and close. Reach around to the back of your hamstrings. And without moving the hamstrings away from your body, just start to send your feet to the sky, pointed. Head is relaxed, neck is relaxed, but just holding in those legs, pointing to the sky. And then just flex and point your feet eight times. Three more. Last two. And bend your knees, roll forward to your toes. And you can just crush your ankles, move your legs behind you. Come down into a crouch and then roll up super slow. Beautiful mountain pose. Stand nice and tall. Inhale the arms up. Clasp your hands and let's take a side stretch to the right. Inhale up and to the other side. One more each direction, trying to maybe push the hip away. Those legs down strong. Other side. Beautiful, back to the center. Swan dive, bend your knees and rest your chest on your legs and forward fold completely. Like to take your hands behind your head, cradle the hands into the back of the head, bring your elbows towards your feet. And then release your hands, roll it up super slow, tailbone pulls to the heels, belly pulls in. Roll it up. Beautiful. Turn to the um, front edge of your mat and you're going to take your right leg all the way back, low lunge. Leave the opposite hand to the leg that's forward on the floor, turn to the knee and then maybe open that arm to the sky. Or bring it down, switch legs. Go through plank. Bring the other leg forward. And take your twist. Good 
bring it down, come up to a high lunge, onto the leg, all the way up, drop your back foot, warrior two. Shoulders over hips, nice tight belly, big stretch. Front arm to the inside of your leg, side angle. Inhale, rise, back to warrior two, and then turn your feet forward into a star straddle. Beautiful, hands to hips, halfway down, and stand. Three more, hips back, legs straight. Two more, let's them out the crown of your head. And one more. And then turn your left toes to the side and warrior two other side. Try to draw that knee over your front ankle, push down through the back toes. And then side angle. Arm lifts you up and turn your feet to the corners of the mat this time and yoga horse pose drop down wiggle down try to get your knees over your ankles heading over the middle of your feet and then we're going superstar arms up straighten the legs repeat for eight Seven, also known as power stance. Six. Four. Last one. And then hands down, hands to hips, take your hips back. Hands onto the thighs and drop in the right shoulder. You really feel that stretch down the right shoulder to the right hip. Take the roundedness out of your back and switch. Beautiful. Six more on your own. Six. Five. Last one, come back to the center, take your feet out, maybe a little wider, reach down to the ankles, drop your head. Walk over to the right ankle, nose to knee stretch. Wider the legs, the more accessible the ankle is. And maybe bring that left arm up to the sky, take your rotations. Try to stack your shoulders. Beautiful, take it down, walk over to the other side. Take your arm up if you'd like. And bring it down. Heel toe your feet together, nice and easy. And roll up, pulling your tailbone to your heels, belly in. Do a little tree pose as we're outside today. So balance onto your right foot, lift your left foot, you can go here, below the knee or above the knee and just try to keep those hips level 
hands to prayer or you can spread your branches. And if you're really adventurous, you can close your eyes and see what happens. Yep, Sophie closed her eyes and I saw what happened. Amazing what that does. Good job trying. And we're going to cross that leg into a figure four and then just sit back. Woo. Stand up carefully, come out of that side. Take it out. You're on very squishy mats that can really challenge your balance. So make sure you've got a pretty hard surface. Balance on your right leg, left leg goes wherever you'd like it. Drop the hip down, make sure it's not hiking up. And maybe try that eye closing again, see what happens. Went a little bit. Nice. Let's try. I love it. Now let's transition into figure four stretch. Cross it over, hips back. Gently stand, release, shake it out. Let's do a little chair squat, feet to hip width parallel, hips back, bend your knees, reach your arms. Pull your hips forward so that you have a nice lengthened lower back here. And then keep your legs the same and just fold forward. Hands behind your legs. And as you're ready, start to bring your lower back towards the sky. Until you feel the stretch and you can just stay there. 30 seconds, just breathe. Gently release your arms and come down to seated. We're going into frog pose, so come onto your knees. Make sure the mat is nice and wide for you to bring your knees out to the side and feet turned out behind you. So both feet should be facing like a frog to the left and the right. And you can stay on your straight arms or you can come down to your elbows. You've got almost a minute here. Should be feeling sensation, but it shouldn't be painful. like a little more sensation move your tailbone towards the mat a little bit and then turn your tailbone back towards your feet a little bit you'll have barely any movement there but you will feel your inner thighs two beautiful breath cycles. Inhale for four. And out. One more round. And 
and out. And then come up to straight arms first. And you're going to bring one knee in at a time, nice and slow. Lovely. And lay on your belly. Arms are going to come out like a T. You're going to bend your right leg in half. Walk your right hand in and turn to the side. Scorpion. Come back to the center. Beautiful. Left leg bends. Left hand walks in like a little tent. And bring that leg behind your other leg. Beautiful pec stretch. Front of the shoulder. We do that one more time. Back to the right. release back to the left and release hands underneath your forehead bend your right leg in half and then wrap around and find your ankle quad stretch You need to adjust your knee, make sure it's directly behind its hip and push that hip down. Squeeze your glute. Three breath cycles in for four count. done there gently release let's do the other side bring it in reach around to the ankle settle in and three breath cycles on your own Beautiful. Gently release. Let's go back to child's pose. Have a little check-in. How do you feel from the beginning? And how is that word working for you today? Remember the word. Take a stretch over to the right front corner. Over to the left. Back to the centre. Let's meet in down dogs. Bring your shoulders forward a little bit, but keep them behind your wrists. Knees in and lift. And let's pedal out the feet. A nice calf stretch. Eight more on your own. Up 
on through plank. Drop your knees, chaturanga. Release your feet, bend your elbows, come down really slowly. Flatten your feet, cobra. Or get your doggy kisses. Yes, being on the floor, all back, it's all down to the doggies from here. Come on down, curl your toes under, plank down dog. Meet me in down dog. Pedal out the feet, eight. Float to plank. You can either do what we did the first round or you can do chaturanga with no knees going down. Bring it down. Then relax the feet, push the top of the thighs down. Cobra. Curl the toes under. You can either lift up here or here. Back to down dog. Two more cycles. Maybe up dog. Maybe don't put the thighs down. Full variation. Last time on your own. And back to child's pose. Let's bring our hands behind our neck in a prayer, elbows to the floor. And go back to that sacrum, that lower back and breathe. Make our way into your resting pose shavasana if you'd like to stay in child's pose stay there if you'd like to lay down in corpse pose on your back stay there if you'd like to stay seated because you might have another class and you don't want to go to sleep you can be seated minimum of 10 mindful breaths check in Remember the word you had at the beginning of class and you honor that for the rest of your day. Completely surrender to the ground. Let go of any control, any effort. Let go of any thoughts that pass into you. Let them go. the energy in your cells that you've woken up this wonderful way this morning. Appreciate the time you took for yourself today. Self-care, give back. And if you have a few more minutes, I will leave you to a few more lovely minutes on the mat. From my heart to yours, don't get up, enjoy, namaste.